good morning good afternoon good evening depending where you are getting me from welcome to our morning devotion in case you are new here just feel most welcome this is the right place to be my name is Delac Mom Deborah and Choka and we do our morning devotion every day from Monday to Friday morning hours that is between 5 and 6 a.m. it's African time and today our sharing is about serve him without fear that is our sharing and the key verse is from the book of Luke chapter 21 verse 1 to 3 yeah uh, and we're going to sing hymn or song number 478 but before that let's pray father in the name of Jesus thank you for the gift of life as in today morning devotion yes to be with us help us and let it have a great impact unto our lives in Jesus name we pray and believe amen we can sing together 478 sweet hour of prayer sweet hour of prayer sweet hour of prayer that calls me from a world of care and bees me at my fire the throne makes all my wants and wishes known in seasons of distress and grief my soul has often found relief and of escape the tempter snare by thy return sweet hour of Prayer. Sweet hour of prayer, sweet hour of prayer, thy wish shall my petition bear to hear most truth and faithfulness engage the waiting soul to bless. And since he bids me seek his face, believe his word and trust his grace. I'll cast on him my every care and wait for the sweet hour of prayer. Sweet hour of prayer, sweet hour. Of prayer may I thy consolation share till from Mount Peace God's lofty high I view my home and take my flight in my immortal flesh arise to seize the everlasting prize and shout while passing through the air farewell farewell sweet hour of prayer amen <coughs> psalm hymn without fear is our sharing this morning and our key verse is from the book of luke chapter 21 verse 1 up to 3 and the bible records and he looked up and saw the rich putting their gifts into the treasury. And he saw also a certain poor widow putting in two mites. So he said, truly I say to you that this poor widow uh, has put in more than all. For all these out of their abundance have put in offerings for God. But she out of her poverty put in all the livelihood that she had. Uh, in case you are hearing this story for the first time, this is the story of the widow with two coins. Uh, they were at church, a worship place where they were giving out gifts to God, their offerings to God. So it was just uh, this congregation had rich people and poor people, but she was the poorest in that congregation so when the rich people were giving out their gifts they were just giving it publicly like they have to count now they were they were competing in giving the offering so they could count like if it's one up to 100 maybe thousands 
if you had a million you could give out so uh she just waited people gave out their offering and then during that time people were not giving now coins like you have to give coins like even these days people are saying you should not give coins to god that is the latest preaching i've been hearing like you should not give coins to god so uh these people were giving what they had and they could show off because this because uh, jesus was there present so they wanted to look good in the presence of jesus so they decided like i have to give out yes they had a lot but they decided like now that i have a lot i need to give out what uh, jesus can see like this one i've really tried so even those people who used not to give out they decided like today because jesus is here i'm going to give out so they could they were showing off they gave out a lot of offerings but jesus when jesus looked at them he realized that they were giving out of the abundance of what they had and then the poor widow just stood up went straight you know she was uh she didn't feel like now i'm i'm ashamed if i'm not giving coins i'm not going to say what i've given out the only thing i'll do i'll just go put my offering and come back so when she went there, some um, versions say like the coins made noise, like punkru, punkru. so there are two coins, she had to drop them in the offering at the treasury. So it made noise. I know there were people maybe who were worried like what is wrong with this widow or what maybe others didn't know she was a widow. And then maybe could say why could she decide to give something like this? This is maybe she's shaming us. But Jesus told his disciples, you know what? I have seen people giving out their offering. But I've seen the only person who just gave out in uh, out of poverty, who gave out everything that she had, is this poor widow. So yes, the rest have given out, but they were just showing off. And they have just given out out of their abundance, meaning they didn't even give uh, that percentage that God wanted. But because they had a lot, they decided to show off and show like, no, we are here and we can give out. So what do we learn from this uh, sharing this morning? We should not fear. Serve him without fear. We should serve God without fear. Because if this poor widow maybe could decide like, no, the way people have <clears throat> giving out their offering and jesus is here um, i don't want to ashamed myself she decided i can imagine because now even in churches we have a uh, specific places for those who give tithes those people who give uh, offering they are known so I, I can imagine maybe she was somewhere at the corner and she decided like i have to go and give my offering she just stood up without fear and said it like, no, this is what I have. This is all I have. I have to give it out. I don't care who will see me. I'm not going to be uh, ashamed of what I'm having or I'm going to be, af I'm not going to be afraid of this, uh, what people are showing off. Because for me, with my coins, I can just stand up, go put in the treasury and come back. She decided like that. The same way we should not be afraid when we see people showing off like they know God than you. Nobody knows God than you. You know this makes this as uh, the the issue of offering has started making people to stop even going to church because they feel like I can't sit in that position. There is a position in church where people feel like these are the people who give uh, more than others. Oh, this is a pain for those people who don't give at all. So some people have become afraid, like we can't uh, continue going to church anymore because church kuna wenyewe. You feel like a pana me me ata sinata ngo mzuri. I don't I don't want to be ashamed. Saki kurudi angu. Yani some things that what people are doing uh, are making you feel like I don't want to do this because I can't fit this class. So this morning I just want you to follow <coughs> this uh, idea of this poor widow. She just stood up. She didn't care who was there. She was not competing with these rich people. She decided like, no, I'm not fearing anyone. Let me go with what I have. So this morning, I just want to encourage the Lakumam family, wherever you are, just serve God with what you have. Don't fear. 
like somebody is going to see me like I'm a failure or I'm ABCD. God doesn't look at uh, the outward appearance. He's just concerned about your heart. The same way he just, he, uh, Jesus just saw like, yes, all people have given the offering. Yes, it's enough. But this one has decided to give out what she had out of poverty. This one are giving out of abundance. So the outward appearance should not scare you. The outward appearance, the, the way people are treating others out, uh, uh, maybe in church, according to their dressing code, according to their offering, should not worry you. Just serve God without fear. Julia Kerobo, good morning and a blessed day from Manama Bahrain Kingdom all the way to my home, Kisi County. You are welcome, dear, to our morning devotion. So this morning, let's understand that we need to serve God with what we have. We should not be afraid. Let's let uh out outward actions don't allow the outward actions to make you feel like you you're not better than others you are perfect so this morning if you feel like you want to serve god just serve him he's concerned about the heart and you'll be blessed so i just want to thank you so much for tuning in Let's continue uh, starting our day with God's blessings and all shall be well. So thank you so much. Let's pray as we finish our morning devotion. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the sharing you have had this morning, Father. We pray that you open our eyes so that you can be like this poor widow who decided like, I'm not going to be afraid anymore in serving my God. Help us so that we cannot be afraid. We serve you without fear because you are our Savior. We pray for the sick in various homes and hospitals. We pray that you heal them so that they can continue praising your name, Lord. We pray for our brothers and sisters working in diaspora, Gulf countries. We pray that you protect them, guide them, lead them to the right direction, Father. We also pray for our children wherever they are. We pray that you protect them, guide them, cover them with the blood of Jesus. Remind them that you are the only God who needs to be worshipped, Father. We pray for our enemies, friends, and relatives, wherever they are. We pray that you remember them in the book of life and forgive them their sins, Father. In a special way, we remember orphans, widows, and widowers, wherever they are. We pray that you provide for them their daily needs as you promised to be their father. We also remember the prisoners. We pray that you give them their freedom once more. Show them that there is light at the end of the tunnel and let them uh, reform and come back to you, Lord, because you are the Savior. We also pray for the travelers. We pray that you send them your traveling masses so that they may reach their destinations well, Father. Father, we pray for the Lakman family. We pray that you help us continue getting united and save lives as we make this world a better place for everyone, Father. Whatever we didn't pray, we pray that you send the Holy Spirit so that he can intercede for us. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. So thank you so much. Uh, Zipporah Mankona is saying I'm blessed for your encouragement. Oh, thank you so much. See you tomorrow. God bless you.